All right, what's up, dudes? Today's video is going to be about the best bang for your buck knives that you can get, uh, at least out of the ones from my collection and that I uh, that I have acquired. Um, we, it's a pretty long list, um, but we're going to go through them. You know, these aren't necessarily in a price category. It turns out after I pick them all out that most of them are under, $60 or under. There are a few that are over that, um, but for the majority, they're 60 bucks and under, and I'll tell you each for each knife what the price is. And they will all be linked down below, so if you want to purchase any of these, it'll take you right to the website where you can get them. So, um, you know, we, we're all looking for uh, a good value in our, in our knives, right, before we purchase them. Uh, a lot of times, that's not the only requirement. Um, you know, I, I've definitely bought knives that weren't necessarily a good deal or, um, you know, I was surprised at how cheap they were. Um, sometimes I even overpay for knives. If I, if I love the design enough, sometimes I will gladly overpay um, for something. That's fine uh, in a lot of cases. Um, but this list is just about, you know, knives that you would expect to be more You'd expect them to cost more because they're so good. That's kind of the my thinking behind this list. So, let's start it off. First, on the list is the Kaiser Mini Bag Lighter. And I have two varieties here. One is mine. One was lent to me by uh, Jacob. And the Mini Bag Lighter here is 55 bucks. Um, there's a couple different uh, blade styles. This is the Reverse Tonto is what they call it, but I would call that a, a sheep's foot or one cliff style or whatever. And then a drop point, which um, I really like. I actually really like the drop point. Um, I mean, I like the reverse Tonto a lot too. This is a great utility cutter, but man, this just looks good. They have a nice stone wash on this one too. The uh, reverse Tonto is just a belt satin. Um, both have N690 blade steel. This is actually one of the newer versions, this one here. Um, and they have updated it to have much better action and a much better detent. Um, this one has a very, very crispy detent. Excellent snappy thumbstead action and very smooth on the, on the clothes. For such a small light blade, um, that's pretty crazy. Now this one is one of the older ones. Um, not very false shut, you know, not at all. And not a super crisp detent either. But if you go on Amazon uh, and use my link, and you know most of the ones you'll see nowadays are are the updated ones, so you won't have to worry about that. Just an example of the um, the drop point that you can get on this one as well. The micarta is really good, good, good quality. Um, it doesn't come with these gold thumb studs. I added these on. Um, Kaiser sells uh, different color thumb studs on their website. If you ever want to um, add some pizzazz to your Kaiser, um, you can get them. It just comes with regular, you know, plain thumb studs. Uh, this is a great utility cutter. Super thin behind the edge. Um, very slicey blade. Very acute tip. Um, deep carry pocket clip. Full liners. Everything has a nice, uh, you know, shine to it. The liners, everything, the pocket clip. It's a great looking knife. Now the sharpening choil uh, is not great. You can see uh, there's really nothing. Um, there's no... Uh, space for you to sharpen back on there um that yeah, is what it is you know really uh, when i use the knife i'm only using kind of this this front inch anyways kind of for draw cuts so so that's fine so 55 bucks i think it's a great little knife the kaiser beg lighter next up we've got the petrified fish mini beluga this is, uh, this is another knife that Jacob lent me recently, and um, I had only handled the full-size version, which I didn't really like, but this one, oh, gosh, man. I think I'm going to have to order one of these. It's an excellent front flipper, perfect size. The big one was just too, too big and too boxy. This, though, is really nice. Both of them, though, have very thin uh, measurement behind the edge. Very surprised to see that. This is a very slicey blade. Um, Relatively thin blade stock too. You got a fuller um, running down the uh, almost the full length of the blade, so you can reverse flick it really easily. And the front flipper, even though it's small, is very very easy to to uh, use. 
Let's see if I can do, yeah, I can do all the, I can do all the tricks. Yeah, it's really nice. It's snappy. It's got a good detent. Um, lock bar access is really good. Deep carry pocket clip with uh, inset screws. Um, actually, the pocket clip is going behind the scale. You can see right there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, G10 backspacer. There's a bunch of handle options. I really like this one, though. Um, I believe it's a K110. Oh, wait a minute. Is this one uh, different? I believe most of them are in K110. This one's in 14C28N, though. Interesting. That's cool. So, very good little knife. Super ergonomic. And it's not even that little, really. Uh, I think it's about a 3-inch blade. Um, so, yeah. Petrified Fish Beluga. This knife is um, right around 40, 40, 45 bucks, I believe. I actually forgot to write this one down. <laughs> I wrote down all the other ones, the prices, but I forgot on this one. I'll put a link down below, though. So, go take a look. I mean, Petrified Fish has a ton of really good valued knives, too. So, you know, if this one isn't particularly your style, you should be able to find one of their knives that, uh, that suits you. And their prices are very good for what you get. Next up, a classic. The Ontario Rat Model 2. This, for a long time, has been the, the uh, kind of budget knife king. And I think it still holds up, Dan. It's just, uh, it's a really good design. We got full liners, G10, or they, well, I think it's G10. It could be a, a, some sort of plastic, but it doesn't feel too plasticky. Um, not a deep carry clip. You can see this one's got a lot of use. Um, Four-way reversible pocket clip, which you don't see a whole lot anymore these days, except with Spyderco. Um, great thumb stud action, good ergonomics, choked back, your, um, your pointer finger kind of rests right in this little area, and then you can choke up because you have a really nice, pretty roomy flat spot right up here if you want to get nice and close to the blade. Um, the blade comes with a, a satin finish. This one I have uh, stone washed myself. Um, it's a great blade, man. You know, It's a drop point with a little more belly than I usually like. Um, in my knives, but it's totally, you know, it's totally fine. It's a, it's a useful blade shape. Um, liner lock, like I said, great thumb stud action, reverse flickable, and uh, it's in D2, and it's 40 bucks. 40 bucks for this guy. That's a great deal, dude, even to this day. That's a great deal. And if this one's too small, the uh, Model 1 is uh, much bigger than this one. But still, I think this is a great EDC size. Full grip on it, about a 3-inch blade. Yeah, it's a classic, and it's uh, it's very, very popular for a good reason. It's a great, great knife. 40 bucks, baby. All right, moving on here, the Vostid Corgi. Um, I'm not a huge fan uh, of the knife. Um, you know, uh, I, I wasn't sure about it when I first got it, and um, after having it for uh, a while, I don't... There's just some things that kind of bother me about it, but I can't deny that it's a very good deal. Um, you know, it's a button lock with multiple deployments. You got these two flipper tabs. They actually work really well. Um, it's fidgety. It's a button lock. You got a brass inlay on both sides. Um, micarta handles, and it's uh, it's about 50 bucks with a 14C28 in blade steel. So that's a good deal. Um, that's a that's just a good deal. So even if the knife isn't really for me, um, you can't deny that's a great deal. The thing that bothers me about it is it just feels a little mushy. It doesn't have like a great click noise when it locks out. Um, something about it just doesn't feel super satisfying to flip open. And I know that might sound nitpicky, and it probably is. Um, you know, other than that, it's a, it's a well-built knife. I like the blade shape. I love the uh, the symmetrical nature of it. Um, it's completely symmetrical when it's closed. The blade is completely inside the handle. Pocket clip is really, really done well. It's um, inset flat hooded screws, very low profile, but still goes in and out of the pocket easily. Um, yeah, the Vostid Corgi. It's a great deal, 50 bucks. You know, 14C, button lock, multiple deployments, great design, yeah. It's a good knife. Next, CJRB Pyrite, another pretty popular knife. 
This is one of my favorite uh, of the budget button locks. Um, the design really just speaks to me. It's, it's a clean sort of aesthetic, um, just kind of a classic, a classic good looking knife, you know, not a lot of crazy design elements going on here, but it's just done really well. These lines are just put together in a way that uh, is just perfect and very, very pleasing to the eye. This is the White Mountain Knives exclusive version in the um, G Mascus. Um, but the one that I will link below is, is a different version. Um, I'm not sure which one I'll be able to link, but I know there's some available. Um, this knife is 60 bucks, so on the higher end of this list, but 60 bucks, I mean, still. You're getting um, the uh, AR RPM 9 blade steel, which uh, I've enjoyed. Nice stone wash on the blade. Very smooth button lock. One of the smoother of the budget button locks, absolutely. It's just so smooth. Super, super smooth. Great thumb set action. Easily reverse flickable. Ergonomics, great. Choke up spot, great. Um, very, you know, super useful blade shape. Nice drop point. Pretty low tip for a drop point, too. Um, kind of a nice broader blade uh, in relation to the handle. I just think it looks really nice. Um, Great clip, not inset, but uh, did use flathead screws, so that's fun. Um, full liners, you know, it's the pyrite, man. It's very popular for good reason. 60 bucks, you can own one of these bad boys. Oh yeah. All right, we can't talk about bang for your buck without mentioning two sun. These quite possibly could be some of the best bang for your buck knives in existence. If you want to jump up um, in price range from what we have been talking about here to around a hundred bucks, um, you can get something like this. Both of these are right around a hundred bucks um, and they're full titanium frame locks, which is nuts for a hundred bucks. Um, now the reason they are uh, only a hundred bucks is because of the blade steel. This one, is in D2 blade steel, which is a lower end blade steel. But let me tell you, I did a cut test video with this knife. Uh, this is the Tucson TS-269. And uh, man, this D2 performed very, very well. Super well. Um, I didn't even strop it back after the test. And this edge is still super, super bitey and very, very sharp. So I have, I have zero problem paying 100 bucks for D2 in this beautiful design um, titanium frame lock. This is some of the best action in my collection. I'm not even kidding. Um, this has better action than some of my 300, 300 to, uh, I'd say $200 to $300 knives. Insane. Just look at this. This is with the stock bearings. I have not messed with this knife. I have not modded it or added anything to it. This is how it comes. It does break in and get smoother. Um, but geez, excellent detent, kind of a trailing point, um, blade shape with this harpoon thumb notch right here. Um, beautiful milling on the scales. I mean, you got a bunch of micro milling. You have these lines, uh, radiating out from the pivot. Um, just beautiful, beautiful work on this knife. Um, it's a hundred bucks. It's just unbelievable. Detent ramp. Um, my only complaint with this knife is the thumb studs are a little pokey, but not too bad. The pocket clip works amazing. Um, this knife is sold out at the moment, uh, but I'm going to link it anyways. If you want to get your hands on this, um, I would sign up for email notifications at uh, White Mountain Knives. Uh, the link that I put below will take you right there, um, and you can get your hands on it when it comes back into stock. They do come back into stock fairly regularly, so if you're patient, you can get one. Same with this knife. Um, this will come back into stock um, pretty regularly. This is the TS-300, uh, um, another titanium frame lock from Tucson that is just amazing. Um, this one is a reverse flicker only or a thumb flicker. Uh, we got 14C28 and blade steel on this one. Um, really aggressive tanto with a hollow grind here and a flat up here. Just a crazy wicked looking knife, man. Um, really angular, futuristic looking action insanely smooth this one i have put skiff bearings in it was pretty smooth before but now it's just very 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 smooth 
I mean, just an absolute drop shot. Um, fantastic. This is around $100 too. So pretty nuts. I, I can't recommend Tucson enough. They have so many designs. Some of them are a little funky. Um, some are great. Some are just uh, incredible. And uh, they're all a really good value. So um, White Mountain Knives is the place to get your two sons. Um, even though they don't have these two in stock, they will have a bunch of other ones that you can go look at. And um, yeah, test them out. Two sun, baby. <clears throat> All right, to another classic. Let's check out the Civivi Praxis. This was one of my first uh, knives, my first Civivi for sure. Um, and it's a really, a really very good work knife. Uh, it's a bigger knife, great ergonomics. You got a really nice choke up spot, very thin blade stock, very slicey blade, thin behind the edge. Ergonomics, fantastic. People have compared this to kind of, um, uh, as kind of a, a budget shaman, sort of, Spyderco shaman. Um, really smooth, great flipper action. This knife right here is only 42 bucks, and there's actually a mini version now of this same knife. Same thing, just shrunken down, and that is 30 bucks. I'll link both down below. Crazy good, crazy good knife. The blade steel on this one is, I think, 9CR14 MOV. Um, not the, not the best steel, but I haven't had a problem with this, uh, this edge. Um, it, you know, obviously doesn't last as long as some others, but, um, I haven't really had a, an issue with it. So, it's a VV Praxis, baby. One of the best. All right, another classic, the QSP Penguin. This knife right here is 32 bucks. And it's an awesome sheep's foot blade. Uh, this one used to have a little hump right here, making it more of a sheep's foot. I cut that off, and so now it looks more like a, a Warncliffe. Um, this is a great utility knife. I use this for when I'm doing a lot of kind of draw cuts, cutting out leather. Um, I use this a lot for that. <clears throat> you get the denim micarta handles, which is very good quality micarta, nice and fuzzy. Um, deep carry pocket clip that is um, set behind the scale, so there's nothing in there to uh, snag your pocket. The screws do stick up a little bit, um, but it's not a problem. Um, this is a great knife for 32 bucks. Um, D2 blade steel, great thumb stud action. There's so many versions of this knife now, um, but this was I bought this back when this was the only version, uh, back before all the hype began. You know, the the penguin is a very popular knife. There's titanium versions. There's uh, Timascus versions, there's all kinds of versions, but this is the OG for um, 32 bucks and um, it's a great one. Really good knife right here. And we're almost done, but first we got to talk about some slip joints. Rough Rider. Rough Rider makes some of the best uh, budget slip joints in the market. This knife right here is only around $18. Uh, which makes it uh, one of the, actually, yeah, the cheapest on the list. And this is a great knife, man. Warren Cliff blade, swayback um, kind of uh, design. We have this blue and black layered uh, micarta handles, stainless steel bolsters, brass liners. Uh, the blade steel is, I can't remember, it doesn't say, I think it's like 440C. It's something pr very basic. Um, the walk and talk on this is very impressive, though. You see, we got a nice pop. Really nice. Really, really nice. Um, great, uh, just, you know, small kind of acute tip for detail work. Um, I like the swedge right here. I think it's a very good looking knife. And for 18 bucks, I mean, come on, you know? Come on. It's a great knife. And there's so many Rough Riders to choose from. If this particular pattern isn't your thing, there is literally, it seems like there's hundreds of these. Um, I'll link them down below. You can go take a look. There's so many. You will find one that you like. Sometimes when I want to buy a knife and I don't have that much money, maybe I have 20 bucks that I want to spend on a knife, I usually get a Rough Rider, because why not? They're less than 20 bucks usually. Rough Rider, baby. But if you want a little bit more premium slip joint, I would highly recommend the Ohio River Jack from Traditional Pocket Knives. This knife right here is usually 165 bucks, which I think is still a 
pretty fair price. But right now it's on sale for $110. And if you use my discount code DUTY10 at checkout, you will get this knife right here for $99. That is insane. This is full titanium and, and M390 blade steel for 99 bucks. You're getting a very high quality slip joint. Um, the fit and finish on this thing is fantastic. Everything is really nice and flush and smooth. You can also get this in micarta where you get these two titanium bolsters top and bottom. But this area in here uh, would be micarta. You can get blue, black, or uh, brown natural micarta. Or you can get this full titanium one. And they're all the same price right now, all on sale for $110. $99 with code DUTY10. This is one of the best deals I've seen <clears throat> in a very long time. I have two versions. This is the Warren Cliff. I also have the um, Sheep's Foot, which is right here. And then the only one I don't have, which I'm going to pick up very soon, is the Spear Point. Um, incredible knives. Really, really incredible. I was never a big slip joint guy until I got this. Now I carry this knife almost every day. Um, I carry it in my little slip right here from Northwoods Leather Works Co. Um, you can hit him up on Instagram if you want one of these. Um, it's just a, uh, such a good way to carry it. So, Ohio River Jack, can't beat it. 99 bucks, come on, what are you doing? And lastly, in my opinion, is the king of budget knives. And king of just good deals on knives, bang for your buck on knives. The Kubi Momentum. If you haven't bought a Momentum yet, um, you're crazy. You're absolutely nuts. Uh, this knife is 35 bucks. 35 bucks. This is a Sharif Manganas design. Um, a very, uh, a very good guy and a friend of the channel. He's been on. Um, a couple of my live streams. I talked to him uh, on Instagram a lot. Very good guy. Um, and he just started a YouTube channel recently. You should subscribe to him. He's got some good stuff. But he designed this knife. And, um, you know, I, I loved this knife before I had even met him. And uh, now that I've found that he's a cool guy as well, um, it makes me like the knife even more. But this is just an absolutely insane um, quality of, of knife for, for 35 bucks. It's in D2. Uh, you could also pay a little more, uh, I think $10 more, and get it in, um, what is it, uh, OS 10, I think. I think it's 45 bucks in OS 10 and 35 in D2. Um, you have thumb studs and a front flipper. Let me tell you, some of the best front flipping action ever on any of my front flippers. This is still one of the best. It's just so easy to do. Um, he wrapped the jimping around the top of the flipper tab, so it's just really easy to, uh, you know, catch on your finger and flip out. You can do all the tricks. You can do the side fi side finger. <laughs> you know, it's just so easy, man. And also, if you don't want to flick it out, you can even slow roll it using the front flipper. Um, since we cut, since this is kind of cut out back here, you can follow it all the way around with your thumb which is kind of cool. Thumb studs, excellent as well. Reverse flickable, obviously thumb flickable. And look how smooth this action is. I'm like, what the hell, dude? You kidding? I have knives that I spent 300 bucks on that I wish was this smooth. It's, it's insane, man. You need to get a momentum. I don't know why you haven't got a momentum. <laughs> uh, we got a little harpoon notch right here. Um, it's a drop point and you have a nice low point. You can see the blade is kind of tilted down this way a little bit. Um, and man, it just makes for cutting so good. I need to actually do a cut test with this knife, at least film it. Um, you know, I've carried it and used it, but I need to film a cut test with this, this knife because I have a feeling, uh, in fact, I'm fairly positive that it's going to perform super duper well. So, the Kubi Momentum, 
35 bucks. I think it's one of the best. Let's get out some of the others here. QSP Penguin. Siege. Oh, wait, you know what? I forgot one. Hang on. Hang on. I forgot one. Alert. <clears throat> it is the Artisan Cutlery Ahab. This knife right here is 50 bones. 50 bucks. You're getting AR RPM 9 blade steel. Really beautiful wood scales. A titanium milled pocket clip and a titanium backspacer. That is the reason that this is a really good bang for your buck knife. You get titanium and wood. AR RPM 9. It's a powder steel. And you're getting amazing design. This is a kind of a unique one. Um, unique shaped handle. Um, I would call this like a sheep's foot blade with a with a harpoon, I guess you'd call it. I don't even know. Um, you can choke right up all the way close to the edge. You can get your thumb right up here. You can go all the way to the poon or just back here. Either way, very thin, slicey blade. I mean, look at that. Super thin. Um, thin behind the edge. This is a slicer. It's a very lightweight knife, too. Um, it has full inset liners, but there's just a lot of milling in there. You can see like a bunch of milling. Uh, and the wood also uh, helps make it light. Great thumb stud action. Great reverse flicker too. This is such a cool knife. It has a hidden pivot. So the hidden is uh, back behind the scale there. The uh, pivot is, I mean, is back behind the scale. Um, it's just cool, man. Very cool. 50 bucks. That's a deal. That's a freaking deal. So, that's it, dudes. I'm pretty sure almost anyone will find a knife on this list that uh, that works for them and that they will love. This is a pretty, I mean, these, these are some of the best value knives out there. Absolutely. If you think of one that I might have missed or um, that I should get that you know of, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching, dudes. Please like the video before you head out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love. Adios, dudes.